We're hitting the hardwood with a little fast break, so we're going to go through some NBA games that have some interesting sides, totals. We're going to get into it. We're, we're looking at the TNT doubleheader. Cavs at Sixers, Philly favored by 7.5, and, and then Jazz at Lakers, Lakers favored by 8. What do you like about these games? All right, let's start with Philly. I feel like this team is so well coached with Nick Nurse. Cleveland has been sort of shorthanded really the entire season, all things considered. Not sure about Donovan Mitchell, his status. I think the Sixers pull away. They just can take a game that's about tied in the middle of the third and go on to win by 15. They, they really just, all the pieces fit. James Harden's gone. So there's just a lot to like about the Sixers team. And Bede's been great. There's a, there's a certain swagger in Philly, not just because of the Eagles, but because of Nick Nurse. They got a coach who knows what he's doing. Obviously, he has championship uh, on his resume. As for the Lakers, I'm really torn here because they've been a really bad first half team. I feel like they've only led at halftime in like one of their games, something ridiculous. Utah plays no defense. The Lakers do sort of bully the bad teams. They they pick up wins against the bad teams. But when they're at full strength, they are like solid. I mean, they beat Phoenix, came had a comeback win not too long ago at home. I think the first half over is the way to play, but the Lakers, just their offense is so stagnant to start games, and you just don't know which version of AD you're going to get. But the Jazz, just no defense. They're, they've gone over in 10 of their 13 games. It's hard not to like it. Maybe like a, a full game over or something like that. Um, but I'm not good at willing to lay the eight. I think the Jazz can sneak inside the number here. Okay. And any other games that are enticing? Oh, yeah. Our, our, fav- our favorite a friend of the program, the Indiana Pacers, who have gone over in 11 of 12 games to start the season. Now, question is, we have a ridiculous total. I believe it's the highest of the season, 251 with the Atlanta Hawks who also like to play themselves some overs. Eight of 12 of their games have gone over. High-scoring team. I really like the over here for other reasons. The Pacers were terrible in their last game. They were down by like 25 right away against the Magic. Rick Carlisle was not happy. The team did fight hard in the second half, played to the end, lost by like 10 or so. But it was ugly. And I think we're going to get a good effort. The Hawks want to go up and down. These guys just hit open threes. This thing will go over 250, no problem. It's crazy to say that. But, I mean, do the math. Half of 250 is 125. Half of that is about 63. So you're looking at like a 31-32 game uh, quarter for each team. It's not that much with these two teams. It's going to be like 80 in the first quarter, another 75. It's going to be like 150 at half. I mean, it's going to be one of these ridiculous games. So I'll probably spread out my units – to like, you know, two units on the first half over, two units on the game, things like that, just so I don't um, get burned like I did Sunday night with the, with the Mavericks in the fourth quarter. But I think that's the right way to play this game. I don't think they can make the number high enough for these two teams facing off because it'll just be an up-and-down game. Okay, a shootout in Atlanta. There's three plays for you right there. For even more, head to onlyplayers.com right there on the homepage. Doug's got all his bets with analysis and unit sizes to consider.